Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new series on Asprite. We're going to be making sprite sheets and characters and all that good stuff all for RPG Maker MV. This series is specifically targeted to sprite sheets for MV so if you're going to use Asprite for anything else um, that may be covered in future videos but for right now specifically for RPG Maker. So let's get started with sprites that I use and the sizes that they are. So here we have the home screen, we have new file open or recover files, we are just going to open a file that we have and this directory folder here is through the RPG Maker game that you, uh, the project that you have. You can see here at the bottom the actual directory of it. If we go to one of our character sheets we can see it's a very large sprite sheet containing eight different characters. At the bottom left here, you can see the size of the sprite sheet. It is 648 by 768. If we want to do one sprite only, uh, one sprite sheet only, um, let's just say this guy here, we are just going to select him using our select tool up here, our rectangular marquee tool. You can access it by pressing M. Just going to go to this selection here, right at the bottom of his feet, drag all the way up, and you can see the size of our selection is 160 by 288, and that is the sprite sizes that we are going to be working on today. So we're going to go new, 160 by 288, it will have that size in by default if you've got a selection made. Make sure you're on transparent, okay. And we can just control V, control C to copy and paste this guy in here. So here is a sprite sheet that is non-chibi art style. Now, I myself am not a fan of the chibi style and I know some people who watch my videos are not a fan of it too. So these are the sizes that we'll be working with. 160 in width and 288 by height. And there's a really, really good guide here to actually see just how big our characters will be. These transparency blocks in the background, three of these, will represent one tile in RPG Maker MV. So six of these for our entire character represents two tiles. So let's just go ahead and create a brand new sprite. We're gonna to go to open and down here I have some uh, base characters to draw on top of. Let's go with a male medium base. So you can see here at the bottom left we have 48 by 128, significantly smaller than our 160 by 288 sprite sheet. And the reason is, it's just a smaller image. And for this base, if I were to put clothing on him, change his hair, change his eye color, when I go to export this as a actual character, we go to file, export, and we'll need to resize this by 300% because this image is 300% smaller than a sprites that I'm using in RPG Maker. So let's say you have the Pop Horror City Pack, uh, the same one that I'm using, and you've found these uh, base characters, but you just don't know how to get them working. First of all, you can use a singular sprite sheet for just one character, or you can lump them into eight characters and use a large sprite sheet. I generally just use a single sprite sheet, which is what we're going to be doing today. I'm not going to do his hair or clothing or anything like that. All I'm gonna do is go to File, Export, Size Up by 300%. When you name your file, you need to make sure there is a dollar sign in front of the name. Reason is because it's a singular sprite sheet and not an eight character sprite. So we just go to Export. We can then open that up in here. So we open that up and you can see it's 144 by 384. Now if we were to take this character into our RPG Maker, we're just going to go to our image, find it down here under our dollar sign category, find the export, you can see we can select our character with our different sides that he's walking, the animations itself. You've probably noticed as well with the animation, standing still is the center. So we've got forward facing, left facing, right facing and up facing. And then we have our walking animations on either side of those. So we have right foot forward, left arm forward, left foot forward, and right arm forward. And same goes for these. So let's just select our sprite. We'll put him here. And just to prove that the animation's all working fine, we'll just give him a simple movement route.
we'll just show you what the characters look like in game. So we have some movement routes and he can actually walk. So that would be how you create a sprite in Aspirate for RPG Maker RV MV that is not Chibi style. The same style I'm using in my game and from the Pop Horror City uh, uh, pack. Okay, well that's it for this quick Aspirate tutorial today. Let me know if you have any more queries about Aspirate. I'm going to do another tutorial after this just to go over the basics. Um, this was simply sizing guides for a non-chibi style character. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Let's go!